All right, today we are talking about the use of calculator in solving questions on quadratic equations. So I'll be explaining with these two calculator. This calculator is Casio FX991EX and why this one is um, Casio FX891EX. So they are both natural display calculators. So I'll be explaining how to use them simultaneously. So let's say I have, um, I have a question Let's say I have a question like, um, let's say I have 2x, 2x squared minus 11x plus 4 equals to 0. And you are being told to solve this quadratically. It is very simple with the use of your calculator. So just watch as I narrate. So you have, you press your on, on. So if you are using this or you are using this, I'll be doing it together. I got what I'm saying. Okay. So the first thing you have to do, let's let me use this first. You go to menu. After menu, you press down the down key, you press down key again, down key again, you see table no. So you see x, y equals to zero. So you press your side. They said a. So how do you get your a? You press alpha and this letter here. This letter. Have you seen this letter? This log. So you press this. So it's you have simultaneous equation polynomials and you know that your quadratic equation is under polynomial of degree 2 so you press 2 polynomial so they are asking you which degree of polynomial do you want to do is it quadratic equation cubic equation or quartic equation so quadratic equation is the one of power 2 cubic equation is the one of power 3 and quartic equation is the one of power 4 so now we are dealing with quadratic equation so that is power what 2 so you press 2 you can see that you have a x squared plus b x plus c here now. I'm sure you are glad you see that now. So the first thing you have here is two. So you press two equals two. If you go to the next number and you press minus eleven, minus eleven, you press equals to again, then four. So you press four and you press equals. To. So you press your answer now. So you just press your equals to once more. So equals to. You see this is your x one. So from this question my x1 will be what my x1 will be 11 plus square root of what it's 9 all over what over 4 you get that now so if you press that you should know that since this is your answer the second answer should give you negative abby so you press equals to again you can see so your x2 here will what 11 minus square root of what it's 9 all over so that's how to use this calculator to solve that. So let's use this Casio FX991 ES. So you go to mode. Have you seen mode? So you go to equation, equation number five. Equation number five. So you can see this is AN, this is for linear, this is also for linear, then this is for quadratic equation number three. So you can see number three AX squared plus BX plus C. So you press number three. I got what I'm saying now. So you press your numbers, you have two equals to minus 11 equals to 4 equals to so you press your equals to again so this is my x1 it's putting it in decimal now my x1 is what 5.1 you press it again your x2 is equals to what 0 0.39 i guess what i'm saying now if you use this in calculator if you press this in calculator let's say i press this equals to now you can see that it's giving me it's giving me 0 0.39 if you press equals to again yeah this equation you have here the other time if you press it, um this this symbol to put it in decimal you can see it has taken it back so if you press it again to put it in decimal which i have on this calculator do you get that now so let's see another example let's go back again how do you refresh your calculator you press shift and nine then initialize or td so you press equals to twice so let me do that for you this also nine three equals to i got what i'm saying now so let's see another example before we move to this so let's say i have a question 2x squared minus i mean plus 7x minus 4 equals to zero so i'm sure you can you know how to practice that now so you can pause the video and try it so you can pause the video and try it by yourself how do you do that so go to mode you already know mode so 
equation equation is what alpha and a so you already press your simultaneous equation and polynomial so you know after that you go to number two then select your degree which is what degree two so you press two equals two plus seven so you don't need to put plus but you can also put it, it doesn't change anything so plus seven equals to minus four minus four equals to so you already have your value so you press your equals to first so you, that means your x1 here your x1 will be what one over two you can see one over two here so your x1 is one over two then you press equals to again and your x2 will be what minus minus four minus four so that's that on um this first calculator so let's go to the second calculator you press mode then equation number five then number three then you put your value two equals to plus seven equals to minus four equals to so you press equals to again you can see that one over two i have here then press your equals to again you can see minus four so i'm sure you've learned something today don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. Thank you very much.